Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to a Brilliant Businesses podcast. My name is Nick Bryant and I'm here today with Simon Chapman from Temple Knight. Hello Simon. Good morning, how are you? Very good, thank you. Very good. Now Simon's business is a managed print solutions company. He's been serving businesses for over 30 years in that arena and um, he's going to tell us how it all came about. It's got a very interesting story and also tell us how he's moved into hosted telephony now. So yeah, take it away son. So business started back in 85 by father... uh, at the age of 40, decided that he wanted a change of direction. He'd been working for uh, a large manufacturer of fax machines and stumbled on the opportunity where he thought that, you know, he could make a real difference, obviously make some money along the way, yeah. um, and it was an instant success. We sold into every embassy, um, every major company, and had thousands of customers for fax. And, and then we then thought, well, actually, the market's becoming, there's a lot of providers in there now. So we then morphed into a maintenance company. Right. Um, we looked after uh, lots of different people's machines that you didn't have to buy the machine from us. Yeah. And we really then cut our teeth on in the service industry. Okay. Uh, that all went very well until about 1996. And then... Literally, the fax machine fell off the cliff. Yeah, um, and has actually, I suppose, eventually died. Yeah, with um, the NHS actually banging them this year. Right, um, and they've been pulled out of every surgery, so the fax machine is dead. Luckily, we did smell the coffee a long time before that happened, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we uh, we then changed our market. Yeah, uh, the one thing with Temple Night over the last thirty odd years is we've been great at morphing markets. Yeah. So we moved into a maintenance company that looked after printers, scanners, faxes, if you may, um, and uh, various office technologies. Uh, we have very committed workforce mm. who understand the kit really, really well. And that took us through quite nicely into 2011. Yeah. Uh, at, at 2011, I took over the business after we, we had a, a massive fire at one of our, one of our offices. Yes. Yeah, and we needed... We need a change of direction. And it was decided that I was a man to do that. And what I've now done is move the company into a managed print provider, but still staying true to what um, what the business stands for. Yeah. And what our business stands for is service first, sales second. Um, but it's, it's, it's kind of understanding what we can do for you. So we can go for anything from repairing your machine that you have in your office, yeah. even if it's reasonably simplistic, um, providing you consumables, providing your next upgrade to your machine, all the way through to uh, fitting out somewhere like Docklands Light Railway. Yes. And yes, everything yes. in between. We yeah. have customers from the very small to the very large, mm. uh, and everyone is significant to us. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's all based from their maintenance business and then eventually their sales business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is your father still a big part of the business? He comes in to assist with finances. Yes. Uh, we see him about one day a week. Yeah. Uh, he is still, the, there is still a level of lifeblood from him yeah. that's in there. And decisions and thoughts are still taken from when he started the business. Mm. Although we're a very different business now. Mm. Uh, mm. One of the things that we have um, very much done, certainly with quite a few recessions during our 36 years as a business, mm. is when leasing companies have been a bit difficult, like they are being now with lending money to people, we will quite often finance the kit, okay. um, along with the maintenance. What about the other customers that you have and, and, and the where you go? Is it all over the UK? Or? So we have customers, I mean, we're predominantly in the southeast, but we have customers countrywide, including Ireland and right. into... France, Belgium, and Germany. Yeah, uh, for our, our more special speciality customers. Yeah. Uh, in short, no job is too small. Okay. But also, no job is too big. Right. Uh, yeah. We we are big enough, big enough to deliver, small enough to care. Is okay. how is the, the way that we like to look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And tell me a bit about your team and who's involved. It's obviously. So I have a very loyal team. Uh, that have been with me for many, many years, as well as um, a new sales team that came to me just pre-pandemic. Yeah. Uh, and they hit the ground running as soon as they came in. And we we have always changed our colours as a company to fit the market. And now we're, we're hopefully through COVID. Yeah. This will be no different. Yeah. And we are offering 
after COVID, as well as all the other great stuff that we do, is um, office tel- telecoms. Yeah. So during the pandemic, lots of people had to make lots of rash decisions with people going home, uh, that, that, that their people would be kitted out with the right kit. Mm. But they had to make those decisions, not you know over three or six months like you normally would, mm. but they had to literally make it on the spot. Yeah. So lots of people have lots of thoughts about if people are going to carry on working from home, do part-time from home, and how the, their, their office te- telephony is going to work. And Temple Night, along with our partner Gamma, yeah. are in a great position to offer yeah. uh, the best solutions, understanding of the market, backed up by guys who know what they're doing. We've been doing it for 30-odd years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you've got these, um, these fantastic products that you're already selling to someone, to mm. one of your customers you've had for many, many years... Um, it, it's an obvious thing to then add bolt-ons to add to, to sell to them mm. to help them out on other things, isn't it? Which I guess is where the, the telecommunications has come on. Come Absolutely, on yeah. Um, it's just part of our offering, mm. and I think I, I know what I'm like as a business person. I like to do business with people I can trust. Yeah, and we build up an awful lot of trust over the three decades that we've been in business. Mm. Mm. And sounds like you've had to diversify quite a bit, especially with fax machines going oh. and then moving into print, and then you know. Apps, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if anyone stays static yes. in the business world, they aren't. They're, they're not going to survive, and this is absolutely no different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we are good at changing our colours and understanding market trends. Mm. Um, and I think that's why you know we, we've been successful for the last three decades, and I plan on being successful for a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> so what um what would you say makes you different? You know, is it is it is it your engineers? Is it is it your processes? What what makes you stand out? It's a combination, I think. With a family business, you always look at it differently. Yeah. Um, and we are a family at Temple Night. Mm. Uh, everyone from the office junior to to you know to to to, to you know to, to to our directors. Yes. We we are a family as one. We think differently. We don't have a problem with questioning um, and thinking outside the box. That's what we've always done, mm. Uh, mm. and we've been very good at that, and we will continue to be good at that. What we're also really good at is delivering. Yeah. Um, we always deliver on a project. We'll never take a project on that we can't deliver on. Mm. And as I said, it's backed up by a great team who know what they're doing, have been in the job for a long time, mm. and will always work you know, with the customer to get the best possible outcome. Mm. And I guess that's why you've... Um, why you've lasted so long, as, mm. you know, as far as customer service goes, it's a big part of, isn't it? It you is know, a big part. You know, customer yeah. is customer is king. Yeah, and uh, understanding what you know they require mm. and how we can assist them with that. What do you like about it the most? I lo- well, the most pre-COVID, <laughs> I loved I love meeting um, our customers. Yeah, understand their requirements because they are our lifeblood. They will tell us how business is going to change mm. and how it's going to look uh, and it's offering you know if we don't have that solution they want it's finding a way that we can deliver the solution they require yeah. and deliver it first time and have a great result mm. um, or I also love talking to the customer who phones up and says I need my office machine repaired my provider is no longer there uh, we're a bit lost yeah um, we don't know whether to upgrade or repair, but we just need a problem sorted and we need it now. Mm. And some of the greatest relationships have started from that type of conversation. Everyone from your flower shop down the road to people like Galliard Homes. Right. They've all they've all started with that type of conversation of, yeah. you know, what do you need? We need a repair. We need it done two days ago. Yeah. And and it and it needs to work and we, we need you know, that's we good. need service. We yeah. need to look it after. And you jump in there and you get it done. And we jump in there yeah. and our guys are very friendly, but they're good at getting the job done. Mm. Um, they give you enough time that you require. Uh, and this all goes all the way up to the sales team who are, who've got great experience. Mm. Uh, they've seen lots of different businesses and how they work, can lead you through the pitfalls, give you great products as well as really good finance should you require it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned earlier about DLR, Doctors Light Railway, about getting that that gig. That must have been quite an achievement. Happy that about. was quite an achievement. Yeah. So, um, with uh, companies like Doctors Light Railway, they are on government contracts, and, mm. and one came up, and we got pulled in by a project leader and said, 
I think you'd, you'd really deliver well on this. And we, we, you know, it was a competitive tender, but we, we, we went in it, we designed the system for them and we got awarded the business and we still look after them to this day, right. some almost seven years later. So we must be doing something right along yeah. the way, yeah. And they must tell a lot of people that you're doing a great service. So I would hope so. You get a lot from that, I would have I would, ho- I would. I would hope so. I mean, we yeah. do get a lot of customers who recommend uh, our business uh, and we do get an awful lot of recommendations mm. because we think about the customer differently. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good mm. approach, isn't it? So what's what's um, what does the future hold? So future, as well as... Uh, the you know the the, the managed print market mm. is definitely with telecoms. Um, COVID is with us now and will be with us for a little time, and mm. we're all going to have to work differently and think differently about how the office looks and how our telephone requirements uh, require. A lot mm. of us are on Teams. Yeah, um, some of that is not as organised as it should be. And with with our hosted telephony, we can organise your work people get their mobiles ringing like their work phones, yeah. get the home phone ringing like their, their work phones, and you've got control of uh, quite a, a wide varied map when people are not together as, as much as they yeah. were before. And, and, and in some cases, they don't want to be that way before because they prefer working from home. Mm. We have those solutions. Yeah, it's a great solution. Yeah. And very timely as well. Um, so it works out well. well. Simon, thank you very much for sharing your, your your stories with me and what you're doing right now. It's really, really interesting to hear. Um, and um, I, w- I wish you luck in everything you do. So thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Um, and um, if you like what we're talking about, please subscribe to us. If you like what Simon's been saying, please get in touch. All these details will be on the um, below this podcast and below this YouTube channel. And um, we look forward to welcoming, welcoming you to another podcast soon. Thanks very much. See you, Simon. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. 